an incidental finding during the screening and preoperative study may be an aorta or iliac artery dissection. Arteries have three layers, the intima, media, and adventitia. A dissection is a tear in the intima, which is the innermost layer of the wall. This tear can cause obstruction of the aorta and iliac vessels, which will be seen by velocity elevations on ultrasound. One of the worst outcomes of an abdominal aortic dissection is separation of the intima, which can cause separation of the media and adventitia, leading to a ruptured aorta. Another outcome is that the dissection could progress to the level of the heart and cause a blockage or rupture there. Common symptoms of an aortic dissection include mild numbness of the lower back, shortness of breath, severe abdominal pain, and loss of consciousness. Dissections can be caused by aneurysm as the wall weakens with the ballooning of the artery. Other causes include hypertension and plaque in the artery. Here is an example of what a dissection looks like on an ultrasound. You can see the same image in black and white on the left and in color on the right. The dissection is indicated by this bright line running through the lumen. This is best seen in transverse view. Here's another example of a dissection in transverse view. Dissections appear as a bright line on black and white ultrasound images, but when color is added, they appear as a linear color void. This image shows the previous image in longitudinal view. Pathology should always be examined in transverse and longitudinal views to confirm results in different dimensions. One of the main reasons is to ensure that there is no artifact, which is common in ultrasounds. This is the same longitudinal image with color. Note the circled separation of flow into red and blue colors in the area of the dissection. As color is added, you can see the flow separation confirming the dissection flap. This separation of color is often seen in dissections on ultrasound. When encountering a dissection, document peak systolic velocities on either side of the bright line in longitudinal to be sure that they are not elevated. This would indicate a hemodynamically significant stenosis affecting blood flow to the organs and legs. Remember the charts in the previous lessons? The normal average velocity in the external iliac artery is 141 centimeters per second. So, at 123 centimeters per second, these images show no significant velocity elevations. Also try to determine the extent of the dissection. For example, if it begins in the aorta, does it affect the iliac arteries as well? An endograft or stent is typically used to treat abdominal dissection, and it can be used in conjunction with the abdominal aortic aneurysm endograft surgery. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.